A contact force is a force between two objects that are physically touching. So remember that pushing a box with your hand is a simple example of a force. And this is a contact force, as the hand must touch the box for this to happen. For your exams, you need to know the difference between a contact and a non-contact force. So what's the most common example of a contact force? Well, a normal contact force is a force that stops an object from falling through a surface. Consider a pot resting on a table. Gravity is pulling the pot down, but the pot doesn't fall through the table as it's stopped by a normal contact force, which holds the pot up. And the direction of the normal contact force is perpendicular to the surface. This force only acts when an object pushes against the surface. So how exactly does this force explain the example of pushing the box? Well, contact forces allow us to push objects that we are touching. So the muscles make the hand move towards the box. And a contact force causes the box to be pushed. And this is by stopping the hand from going through the box. So what other examples of contact forces are there? Resistance forces are contact forces that try and slow an object down when it's moving. For example, when someone goes down a slide, there's friction from the slide as the person moves across the surface. Friction happens here because neither surface is entirely flat, so the particles rub against each other as they move past. When someone is parachuting, this is an example of drag, as the parachute moves through a fluid, which in this example is air. The drag force occurs because the parachute and the person collide with particles in the air as they move. Tension is the force through an object when it is pulled from both ends. So there is tension in this rope, for example, which pulls both people towards each other. And when the rope is taut, the tension is the same throughout. You should be familiar with these types of contact forces for your exams, and also be able to identify them in systems of forces. Thanks for watching. If you want to take your GCSE revision to the next level, head over to launchpadlearning.com and check out our smart learning platform that's been designed to get you top results in your exams. We cover your whole specification and make revision fun with interactive quizzes, easy to follow videos, and more. You'll be kept motivated by your own AI tutor who's here to support you every step of the way. To check it out for yourself, click here. Or click here to keep watching a selection of the videos from our full GCSE physics course. See you there.